Okay, this lesson for the Cornet Project class is just to reflect on what type of resources I was trained according to. For example, this study guide for prison epistles. This is uh, something that uh, where someone goes through. It's written by Robert Ashcraft, Ph.D., and this one is 1997. And what it is is it's where people go through and use the uh, languages, word studies, of course, one on Romans. Of course, they're not uh, high-end as far as binding, but these are the types of books you work through. Actually, I don't know where to find these anymore. Here's one on 1 Timothy, Titus, 2 Timothy. So if I can find a way to, uh, well, I'm working now to find a way to copy these, but for example, when we study, and those of you in this Corne Project class, a language-based apologetics class, and now outreach of a local covenant community here in Jacksonville, Arkansas, we would start as we were encouraged to do, and of course, we I'll go to Ephesians 1.4, for example, and I'll just take that fragment, which is about all I can do at a time, but just give example, the foundation of the world. Now we would say that's how it reads in the King James Bible, and yes, I am much more comfortable calling it the Bible the more I study, <laughs> having no problem with that. So, um, Let's move on to, so when we looked at what the TR, that's that Textus Receptus, it said uh, pro, that's before, and here was that uh, Cataboles, Cataboles, that's the downcast. You see this word here is down and boles, downcast. So let's just leave it literal for the moment. I mean, word it out, downcast. And then cosmu of the genitive, a kind order. There. So this is just the part you would have if you were wording this through and doing word studies. I know people who have been uh, King James only and look up Bible words. So I'm not sure except for something else they'd rather do. I'd rather stay with the text and look up as many words. I would rather be limited only by my ability or rather inability to use words uh, than to just simply find a place in my studies to not. So this is something you might want to try, try this, because when you hear a lot of controversies around it, see foundation meets well with down or establishment. We had another lesson about that. The world, for example, if you're looking forward, then especially Saul of Tarsus, who's now Paul the Apostle, and eventually, at the time this book was written, they were within just a few years of the brick-and-mortar temple coming down. Uh, there'd be a world of uh, New Testament churches. There'd be a kind of order and arrangement in the uh, each individual church. Jesus is said in Revelation 2 to conduct in the ecclesias. So if you really, if it just goes off the rails and you can't really find someone who wants to have a Bible discussion, do this. Just try to rewrite it. Rewrite it. Yeah, rewrite the Koine, for example. Just say that, uh, let's just go bring this down, pro, before, and then as it's taught and sometimes just listen to people and say uh, our case, our case, before beginning. So before beginning, and then 
you can just write the word creation before beginning of creation. And then you can put here a two of the Uranu. This is those of you that are using your de noun declensions. These are just a way to uh, kind of exercise and practice. And of course, don't worry, you won't find any friends out there that practice this very often. Uh, of the heaven and of the earth. Now what that'll do for you is, especially when we have, uh, it's so easy for someone to just appropriate an identity. Uh, some people really ridicule the King James Bible and they haven't really thought about it because if you were to say that's not a good translation, that's fine, whatever that would mean, it would assume like for someone like me, you must have something there. But for those, for example, who ran into something uh, like I did years ago, it, I call it eternal selection. Now, I have no, uh, it wouldn't, I, I don't know, as I've often had to explain to people who are more emotional than uh, rational and don't really want to um, go through the text, uh, I, if the Bible says it, it's great for me. I have no interest in anything about the Bible being saying something. For me, it's, you know, I believed it before I could ever use it, before I ever wrote it. It's just, where will you go to find a class to word things out, to take the text, see what it looks like from where it originated? But you remember we were... Well, some of you might remember. I know if you were in here, you do. But you remember in Hebrews 6.1, 6.1, we were uh, comparing, looking for kata boles, and we found this text, not again, Pauline, not again. And then there was that word, the me. Leon, a foundation. And then here was this word here. Um, let me see. Yeah, we got room here. Oh, Aminoi. And this here, this, let's just put the translation here. Uh, and notice down, and then there's the word ball, B-A-L-L, -L, B -A -L -L, just like throw something. So this is a present middle, and it's a participle, and here's the word down. So, yeah, so downcasting. And it's middle, of course, for ourselves. There. And so we could see that foundation is a good word there, and it's related to this. So the real question is, is was it in the mind of the receptors, the people who received it? First? Remember, this is thousands of years ago. That's why the information we have today makes our ability to study. Actually, uh, we're much more advantaged today than even some who were there then in the sense that we have all the information. We can stop now and look it over. Now this, this I don't know what this does. I know for most of you it uh, quells a lot of the emotion. It tranquilizes. I know study is tranquilizing. It's much wearisome to the flesh. But if you want to do something, especially those of you that are reading and using your Koine and comparing it to uh, your English Bible, more rather using your English Bible, and wanting to understand where do some of the things come from that people say, well, then write it out as they say it, and then think for yourself, how did we get from this to this rather than, it's a lot shorter trip to go from here to there than it is from there 
to hear. And this is where, you know, as I've had people and you all encounter it, we all are we're like that at one time in our lives where we already have pre-understanding and sometimes it can lead to a lot of, uh, well, even judgment. I know the first time I was accused of one of the constructs, it was Calvinism. And I had to ask, when did that become an accusation? I had heard of it, but I'd never been in an arena where people uh, used it, weaponized it to speak in a diminutive way. And that was new for me. It kind of took me back because I was rather cognitive, rather computational. But this is fun. if you ever want to sit down and, oh, I misspelled heaven. How in the world? See, I don't, I don't know what that is, but sometimes, we, but look this over. This is nothing to check out. This is just, I was just saying, if you want to write it out the way people teach it out and maybe help quell some of the energy, and then you can go back and remember that we're, we, we've seen this before. We know about laying again a foundation, and then we know about a foundation here. So it's really good because in, in a lot of ways, there's more credibility now going this direction than this way. So uh, that's a good lesson. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll move out of the way and let you look at it. But it gives you more to do with your Koine because these are all words in the Koine text. So when people are saying that a text says something and you notice it gets so far removed, well, then you can go because all these words are there and just say, well, if that's what Ephesians 1, 4 said, wouldn't it have been there just like that? So that's a good lesson. Enjoy it and uh, try to keep these as brief as possible. It's just sometimes you can set up a text, start with your Bible, look at the TR from which that originated, then rewrite it the way you hear people speaking, and then go and in, in, in our own work compare this text to another text in the Bible. And then you can just start really seeing a synthesis take place and then a contrast because this is, by the time you get here, you're really stepping far away from what was here stated. So have a blessed day.